Good evening. Um, quick question before I start. Does everyone here know what cranking is? I know there's a guy over there who does. Everyone know blank faces? Right. Um, cranking is a combination of crying uh, whilst wanking. Um, it's usually done by single lonely men, um, often in the shower, because it helps to wash away the tears um, and the shame. Um, <laughs> so I'm told. Anyway, good evening. My name's Gaz. Um, you're not going to be too surprised to find out that I'm a single lonely man. <laughs> Online dating doesn't work for me. Um, I haven't got the confidence to chat to women in bars, despite standing on the stage doing this. Um, and standing in the shower, having a standard happy shower, doesn't really do anything for me. So I've tried speed dating, um, and that's been fantastic. I've met loads of women, and luckily for them, they get to talk to me for three to four minutes because, well, because it's socially awkward for them to get up and walk away. <laughs> Uh, I took out a girl called Lindsay, uh, yeah, I took out a girl called Lindsay um, on a date because I'm not a hitman. Um, she was lovely. She was a really classy lady. Um, she has beautiful eyes, gorgeous smile, perfect long legs, and the kind of blemish-free skin that make a great lampshade. <laughs> so I really wanted to impress Lindsay. I really wanted to show that I had a bit of class. So I, uh, I said to her on our first date. Get yourself dressed up really nice. I'm going to take you somewhere pretty posh, you know, really classy. So when she turned up, she was dressed in a lovely black and grey cocktail dress, lovely sapphire earrings. So I directed us down the road, which, um, down to a lovely South African Portuguese restaurant that I know. Um, it's got a really good atmosphere, really nice, quirky sort of character about it. And when we pulled up outside, the look on Lindsay's face told me everything I needed to know. She turned to me and she said, wow, Nando's. <laughs> I could tell she was impressed. I mean, clearly who wouldn't be? Well, she's going to be even more impressed when I tell her that she can order whatever she likes because I've got a voucher. <laughs> Took the lead and confidently strode into the restaurant and for some reason, Lindsay was quite a way behind me. In fact, she was lucky I turned to check on her because the heavy door nearly slammed into her. But I managed to stop that with a pretty impressive roundhouse kick. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> First time on stage. Um, we had a lovely time chatting whilst they're uh, waiting for the food to come. Obviously we did. I'm a very interesting person. Um, it's just a real shame that one of Lindsay's relatives got seriously ill and she had to rush off to go and see them in hospital. <laughs> Not all of my dates have been that successful. I went out with a girl called Claire. Um, well, I say I went out with... I was 40 minutes late for our first date and by the time I got there she'd left and blocked my number. But not trying to make excuses, it wasn't my fault that I was late. Oh no, it was the, uh, the traffic gods. The little bastards looking down on you, messing with your journey times. He's on his way to work. Let's set all the traffic lights to green so he gets there half an hour early. Oh, fantastic, thanks very much for that. Bet you don't do that for me on the way home. He's on a first date with Claire and he's trying to impress her. Fuck him, not a chance. Well, they didn't have a conveniently placed bin lorry available at the end of the street to block me, but they do have a crafty set of traffic lights that they turned to red as I approached. Cheers, thanks for that. No traffic about. I'm sat at a red light waiting for the next phase of the moon to come around. Well, it doesn't matter. I've got time. I can wait. Eventually, the lights go to green. I'm, I'm away. But now, they've got time to plan. Send out the taxi drivers. Taxi drivers swarm in front of me, blocking the road, creating their gridlocking moments. There's not much you can really do. In situations like this, you've got to just accept that you've been stopped and the, and the gods are winning. But wait for them to take their eye off the ball. I take my chance. Without indicating, because I'm driving a BMW, I cut into the outside lane and pull past the traffic. I head towards the next set of traffic lights. They've turned into red, but I'm going through them because now I'm in a rush. Probably an amber as I've gone through. I head towards the, the, uh, across the junction. Um, it's clear roads ahead and I'm free and I've outsmarted them. And I'm on my way, Claire. <laughs> Struggling with this. Um, but then, the gods play their most final and potent weapon. Like Satan unleashing his demons, they deploy the Honda Jazz. <laughs> Three of them. That's enough to destroy any, any journey, no matter how well planned. I keep looking at your knees, I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to. <laughs> Wouldn't mind, I can't see anyone else anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough to destroy any journey, no matter how well planned. Oh, fucking hell, I've totally forgotten it again. 
have another clap. Still my first time on stage. <laughs> No, I'm afraid it's gone. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Think about cranking again. It was funny, that. <laughs> you didn't pay for this, so it's all right. <laughs> Are there any Honda Jazz drivers in here tonight? I can't see past the first row, so hopefully one of you will just put your hand up and it'll make the set, yeah? Fantastic. Brilliant, you're one of them. Congratulations on getting here. I assume someone else has driven you. <laughs> or you set off last week, probably. If you just pull out your driving license, that'd be great. Have you got your driving license on you? Just hold it up nice and high. High as you, high as you can. And I just want you to, hard as you can, just fucking throw it. Just throw it. Wait for me. Uh, yeah, any direction, just like you're driving will be. Drifting around the place, not in like a cool smoky tires way, in the sort of way that suggests you don't know what lane you want to be in, doesn't even realise what lane he wants to be in. Stopping for non-existent traffic lights, braking for imaginary turnings, and blocking other road users in a way that they get you a contract with an American football team. I'm not saying genocide's the answer, but it's certainly an answer. Anyway, Claire, if you're out here tonight, which you're probably not, thankfully, that's why I was late. You can unblock my phone now. We can rearrange. You can order anything you like, because now I've got another voucher. Thank you, another clap, it's still my first time.